Hi, and welcome to this demonstration of how to install and configure the IMETIS Face Recognition Video Analytic. After you've downloaded the installer package, right-click on it and select Run as Administrator on your server. Please review and agree to the licensing agreement and click Next. Now click on the Install button to begin the software installation process. One thing that is important to note is that if you are running IMETIS Face Recognition, each camera that is running the analytic will take roughly one core of CPU to analyze the media feed. We are referring to one modern CPU of at least 2.5 GHz. Also keep in mind that the server will require roughly 1 to 4 GB of RAM for each camera that will run face recognition. Once the face recognition package is installed, review your cameras in the devices tree to select which camera you wish to apply the analytic to. Next, we now want to configure the analytic to the camera. In order to do that, head up to the top of the Symphony Operator Client and select Server Configuration from the drop-down menu. Log into the web browser-based administrator client. Now that we are logged in, we can see all of the different cameras that we can use. The camera we wish to use for this analytic, we've already labeled Face Recognition. Select the desired camera and then click Edit. Once we reach the camera configuration page, scroll down to the add-on section where you can select the face recognition analytic package from the drop-down menu. Ensure you turn on the face recognition analytic and then press configure to continue. The first step in our configuration is defining what analysis resolution you wish to have. The maximum resolution for face recognition analyzing is 1280 by 720 resolution. As well, five frames per second is the recommended analysis FPS. On the camera view we are using, I know that I can run face recognition at a lower resolution, and that is why we are going to select a resolution of 480 by 270. Next, we must establish our face confidence threshold and the quality for the template threshold. These numbers are used to define how confident you are that there will be a clear picture of a person's face moving through the scene. We're going to keep these thresholds at 50. Next, we have the option to define the processing mask. As you may know from other IMETIS analytics, defining the processing mask helps save on CPU usage. This, however, does not apply for face recognition as you still have to extract the faces for processing. Once we have established our desired settings, we simply click OK to finish configuring face recognition to our camera. Click Save to start running the analytic on the camera now. The next step is to add user faces into the system. In the timeline above, you can see when faces have been detected by the purple markers. The red markers are alerts that have been triggered. We can click on an alarm in the timeline to see whose face was detected. In this example, Mike Jameson has been detected. Depending on who has been enrolled, you can set alarms on different people. If we want to enroll a new person into the face recognition analytic, start by clicking on the face icon at the top. If you do not see this button at the top, click on the far right drop down menu to reveal the Add or Remove Buttons option and select the face recognition to place it on your main menu. Again, simply click on the face icon to bring up the Manage Faces window to begin face enrollment into the analytic. Let's begin by creating a new person by first selecting Upload Face to upload a picture. In this folder, we have gathered several sample pictures of a person we wish to add. Pictures from a surveillance camera view or photos from other sources can be used. In this example, we are using four different pictures from various environments from various cameras to build the face profile. Once we have the photos uploaded, we just need to name the person and define which list we wish to add them to, whether it's a blocked list or an allowed list. When we've selected which list we wish to apply to the person, click Save. You can see that the new person has been added to the list. The next time this person walks through the view, we will automatically get an alarm for this person. 
Thank you for watching this demonstration of how to easily install and configure the iMetis Face Recognition Video Analytic.